Speaker of the National Assembly, Patrick Matibini, has tested positive for COVID-19. Dr. Matibini, who confirmed the development to ZNBC News in a statement today, said he is currently in isolation and being managed from his home. And the speaker dispelled rumors suggesting that he is in a critical condition and requiring oxygen following his positive COVID-19 test. Dr. Matibini said he is in high spirits and on the mend as he has continued to follow all guidelines and instructions from the healthcare team, whom he described as professional. He said the COVID-19 causing virus is vicious, has no boundaries, and is not selective of social status. The speaker has since advised citizens to take the disease seriously because it has the potential to disrupt the lives of many people. Dr. Matibini further said the control and prevention of COVID-19 requires national unity and collective responsibility. He said taking such measures can help Zambia fight the further spread of the deadly disease. Dr. Matibini has also cautioned citizens against ignoring health guidelines but continue to follow them to avoid contracting the disease. Meanwhile, former Deputy Minister of Education in the MMD government, Crispin Musosha, has died. Mr. Musosha died today of COVID-19. Mr. Musosha's death is among the 23 recorded in the country in the last 24 hours. Health Minister Chitalo Chilufia has confirmed the death of the former lawmaker in a statement to ZNBC News in Lusaka today. Dr. Chilufia has since conveyed a message of condolences to the bereaved family. Meanwhile, the country has in the last 24 hours recorded 1,241 COVID-19 cases out of 12,383 tests conducted. In a statement to ZNBC News, Dr. Chilufia also said 163 people have been discharged within the health and home care facility management in the last 24 hours. He said with the new admissions, there are now 191 patients under health care management with 108 on oxygen therapy. Dr. Chilufia said the cumulative total now stands at 26,567 cases with 464 deaths and 20,512 recoveries. Meanwhile, Dr. Chilufi has warned that government will not hesitate to impose sanctions on people found abrogating the public health regulations. Remember to hit the like button, place a comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.